Judy Murray took to Twitter to display her pride for her son Andy as he reached the Stuttgart Open final with victory over Nick Kyrgios. The Scot defeated Kyrgios 7-6, 6-4 to set up a clash with Matteo Berrettini in the final. Tennis coach Judy posted a smiling emoji with hearts as she quote tweeted a post that confirmed her son's place in the final. She has been vocal in her support during the tournament, similarly posting a star when her son reached the semi-finals with an impressive victory over Stefanos Tsitsipas. She will be proud of Andy for reaching the final and for the tournament he has had in preparation for Wimbledon. The match was Murray's first tour-level semi-final since 2016 at Wimbledon, and his win over Tsitsipas in the quarter-finals at Stuttgart was his first victory against a top-five player since he beat Novak Djokovic at the 2016 ATP Finals. Against Kyrgios, Murray was on top in a competitive first set before winning a tiebreak to go 7-6 up. The Australian at this point smashed his racket on the floor and his bench, and was handed a penalty point before getting a game penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct. As the incident affected Kyrgios, Murray went on to comfortably win the second set 6-2 to seal his place in the final on Sunday against Berrettini. After his victory on Saturday, Murray said, the second set was not much fun to play, it was not very competitive. It wasn't really a match. He started well but closer to the end he got frustrated. The first set was tough and the end of the first set was the crucial part of the match. You expect things to happen against him, so I'm not surprised when they do. It was a very frustrating set for him to lose and he broke a racket. He also had a back and forth with the umpire and something seemed to happen in the crowd. But I didn't really hear anything after the first set. Murray's mother has recently offered her advice to another British player, Emma Rajikanyu, and claimed that her team should think carefully about the 19-year-old's future. Rajikanyu's team will be mindful of all the savvy sponsorship deals and marketing campaigns she has astutely tapped into over the past eight months, she wrote in the Telegraph. They will no doubt bring her huge financial rewards, but at what cost to her body? I say this because as with most young players, it shouldn't be a case of patching them up and preparing them for the next high-profile event just because a sponsor or a federation wants to ensure their branding is visible. Thank you.